Hello. Today I'm going to be drawing this, I believe, Lafria Flavicollis fly. That is by James Robin. Um, I really like this photo. Everything's clear to uh, see in it. It's a really, I feel like it's a rare photo when you could see all of the legs so clearly. Um, it seems like most insects and even arachnids tend to tuck a couple of their legs under their body um, even though that that back right leg is more just of a perspective thing overall it's awesome I mean we can see um, so many cool parts of this fly so to start off I'm gonna draw the ball of the head and I'll eventually add more uh, structure onto it but yeah all of the units are so easy to see even the wing structure is really clear which it seems kind of rare to me. I feel like um, capturing a photo with, or perhaps it's just um, of the nature of the fly itself to have a really clear looking wing. I'll try to, I'll try to draw that as best as I can. Okay, to start off, I was actually thinking of flipping it. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna work from this view instead. Okay, to start off, I'm going to draw the ball of the head, and I'll add more onto it. Get the ball of the head, now I'm going to add the uh, thorax. Now I'm going to add the abdomen, which most of the abdomen is visible. Uh, some of it is a bit obscured based on the perspective, because there's a large amount of overlap going on. I think that works. I kind of should have showed the end point. It's kind of hard to tell whether that's like um, the end of the abdomen or if it's like hair. Okay, so now what I want to do, I want to uh, carve two spots out on the ball of the head for the eyes. And the eyes are just uh, bulging. They're like really they're really big. They're like massive. And um, there's also this like face thing. You know what, I think I should have made the other eye a bit larger. I think it should have been more like that. It's like a gumdrop. Now I think I undercompensated that other eye. Let me try it one more time. You know what, maybe I should just, I'll draw the socket, but I will, I will try to commit to the sockets that I'm going to draw, but Kind of like that, perhaps even more flattened out. You know, I'm looking at this and it kind of looks like it's a bit of a half a sphere that's a bit longer. I keep underestimating it. A little frustrating because it's a really difficult shape to uh, get right. I think what I should have been thinking is how on this side there's a bit of an overlap with the thorax where the eye is uh, placed. It's 
Sorry, I'm just uh, coloring in that eye real quick. Yeah, and I think that eye is more like that. And we can't see all of it based on the uh, perspective. But for the most part, it's kind of like that. Okay, now I want to uh, quickly draw what appears to be the proboscis. There's like a little bit of a structure that goes off its face. Then it kind of looks like that, and it's like another one as it comes back and attaches to the head. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to add a couple pilot holes for where the uh, legs will go. Oh, another thing. There's a bit of a connecting area between the head and the uh, thorax. I could see it. It's very subtle. It's kind of like this uh, connection that, well, it's pretty much just a connection junction. So I'm going to draw the uh, leg pilot holes that we will eventually add more onto. But I'm probably going to draw a little more structure before I start adding on those legs, even gestural lines for them. <clears throat> okay, now what I want to do is um, I see two areas where the wings will attach to. I can see it on this side. The other side, it's a bit... Um, obscured, but it's definitely on the other side of the ball. And I'm going to draw some, a general way to summarize it. Oops. <laughs> I'm going to quickly merge that. Okay. So I'm going to draw some gestural lines for the wings. Um, and I will eventually try to do more of the structure. I just want to make a general line to try to capture the wing before I actually try to add a little more structure onto the wing, a way to constrain um, the area that I want to draw within. And sometimes I do plot holes before I uh, draw further. It could be very help helpful for you to do that as well. Oh, and I just realized a little bit of a mistake that I made. So I could see from over here, it kind of like uh, goes in and I should have, I should have made a greater effort to show that. This area was important and I uh, accidentally neglected it. And thinking of this wing over here, it's like a little bit above, it's actually more there. And I have the line right here, even though I can't see it completely. Okay, great, great. Now what I want to do is I'm gonna just quickly erase a little bit of that extra line I had there just for a moment. Um, what I want to do now is because I added that structure, I wanted to start adding um, gestural lines for the legs and you'll see what I mean. So, there's this is the first leg this is the second leg this is the back leg there's some overlap going on so we can't see exactly where they connect we can see a lot of good information though so perhaps the pilot hole should have even been a bit down more than where i made it 
or perhaps it's um, doing some interesting things as it goes. But I wanted to draw some lines. So it seems like it's down even more. Should have been a little bit further. About there. And I know I put it here. It's more connected to the leg over here. There's just a little bit of overlap going on with these um, legs. And perhaps I should have made that line go up even more. Which is a bit frustrating because I drew that. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to predict what the uh, under system will look like when you can't see it. And I tend not to uh, try to do too much erasing in a given video because I find it, it kind of just takes away from the uh, purpose. So I do apologize for quickly doing that erasing Okay, so yeah, I think um, over here, this leg, it's doing like a lot more arcing than what I did. <laughs> so I kind of, let me see if I can quickly undo that again. Okay, so what I'm seeing is it's kind of like going under, it's going up, it's going back again, kind of like that. That's how I am uh, seeing it. Perhaps I should have made it arcing even more. I think like that. I think that's a good way to summarize uh, that leg. Now, I want to actually draw uh, that portion of the leg. In the past, I would usually try to draw gestural lines for all of the legs before I would start uh, drawing them. But I thought in this case, I would take a different approach. Yeah, it's so difficult to see where it uh, is connecting to. Very frustrating. And I still don't like the, the way I arced it. I feel like I should have arced it so much more, like I really had to push that arcing nature. And it's interesting how that connection point here kind of thins out as it gets uh, connected to the other shape right here. And I also made a bit of a mistake in which uh, I, there's a more of a curve to like a more of an upward or like a bulging curve to that leg that I probably should have uh, focused on more. So when I'm looking at the end legs, there's like a roundish unit. Then there's like these uh, three small triangles until you have a little bit of a longer one then you have like these little leg claws at the end it looks like there's uh four at the end of each branch or like two at the end of each uh of the branching things okay so just ignore the pilot holes um so the next one yeah it's like completely overlapping it And it's about to there. So the first shape of the bean kind of like dips below. Well, it kind of more does that. My apology for all the overlapping. Then this, uh, it's interesting how the front four legs are a bit different from the back two legs. The back two legs seem to be a bit more fortified Perhaps that's to help it fly. Then there's a bean here. Then we have the three triangles. Then we have the 
longer triangle thing, then we have the uh, ending clause. Okay, now this leg, it's doing interesting things. It's actually much like the other one, tucked under the body again, which makes, makes it a bit frustrating. Perhaps this fly was on guard. I would not be surprised. Then the three triangles, then the last unit, then the claws. Okay, now for the legs on the other side. <clears throat> okay, so the front leg looks like it just comes out of the eye kind of like that. And we can't see all of the initial beam of the shape, but it's definitely there, just obscured by the body a bit. Then we have the other leg attachment. Does that and connects to the main body. Well, this section is a little bit thinner than what I drew it, but it does uh, come around and connect. Then we have the initial shape then we have the uh, small triangle-like things, then the last unit, then the claws. Okay, now for the other leg, which appears to do that and that. Well, a bit more. Okay, so we could see a good amount of that shape. Not all of it, but a significant amount. We could see that shape, and then we see the initial shape, then the three triangles that all attach. Then the longer shape, it's more like an elongated triangle. Oops. Then we have the claws at the end. Okay, now for the last leg. Now the last leg kind of is a bit um, behind the wing. It's kind of uh, really overlapping with a lot of different things, but it's kind of like doing that, doing that. We can't see all of the claw, but I feel like I can see at least uh, one of them, maybe a little bit of the second one kind of overlapping. It's a bit out of view. Okay, so I didn't want to draw the hair because there's just like a bunch of hair throughout all of this. Uh, fly. But I did want to try or at least attempt to do a little bit of a portion of the wing. So looking back at the wing, there are certain areas, particularly here and there, where it uh, kind of goes out. So it's like there's a line about here. And it kind of like bulges out before it uh, connects again to the wing. And on the other side, it's... Uh, here before it comes back around again. And you see um, all these other connections, like they're all there for an important and uh, purpose, although it may not always be as uh, clear to see. But yeah, it really continues, and it's not like the wings are perfectly straight they always have this um 
ridging to them. Like a particular structure in mind. It's um really interesting. Probably mess I'm making certain parts a little bit too thick. bit frustrating. I already kind of messed up some parts of it. I kind of made that second part a bit too long when it should have been a bit shorter. Yeah, doing, trying to do wings like these takes a lot of practice before you even get a sliver of it right. I've always felt like when you're trying to do uh, wings like these or the structure, it's um, a bit similar to like trying to fit a leaf within the bounds. I mean, I understand that um, you know, leaves and wing structures are not the same. I mean, they're far from the same, but they do have some uh, similar drawing rules that you can follow. In my opinion. It should be a bit higher. seems like the structure of both of the wings kind of uh, mirrors so like they're the same like if you look at this section here that part is the same it's just a bit different based on the perspective and that part and that part they look uh, mirrored to me although there could be some quirks when you look at them closer that's just um, what I believe I am seeing usually I don't go far into this uh, type of detail because I tend to be a bit bad at it and I'm already making a slew of mistakes. As I go. But perhaps I should leave it there. <laughs> yeah, I kind of messed up a lot of the pilot holes out of the legs as they are a bit difficult to uh, see. But I do hope that this video was uh, helpful to you for understanding some of the structure. If I had to critique myself, I would say the ball of the head and the uh, thorax probably should have been overlapping a little more. They seem a bit farther apart than how I should have done it. And perhaps I should have tried to draw the hair the hair is a bit, well, it's pretty important, although it does kind of obscure some of the shapes. And I also realized this shape here uh, should be kind of bulging out a bit more than how I did it. But oh well, like it should have been more, maybe like that, well, even tipping. Even going maybe further. It's a bit difficult of a shape, like maybe <laughs> a bit difficult. Can't even pull it off. Sometimes you run into interesting shapes that may be worthwhile for you to uh, practice on the side. Because sometimes you're just not used to drawing certain shapes and they tend to uh, offer an interesting challenge. But yeah, I hope this video was uh, helpful to you. 
If you like the video, please like it. If you like my channel, please subscribe. And if you have a question, please ask in the comments. Thank you very much for listening. Bye.